I'm at the airport and I'm flying with Virgin Airlines to Cairns from Brisbane. I just got back from my Fraser Island tour in Rainbow Beach. I highly recommend, it was so much fun. And we'll see what the week takes us while we're in Cairns. First day in Cairns, I got some celery and some groceries from Woolsworth. So pretty here. I'm at the Botanical Gardens in Cairns. Highly recommend. These are incredible. They're hanging orchids. That is wild. Those are the roots. Very much go for a way. Pretty cool. <laughs> Pretty cool here. Again. <laughs> <Go>. <laughs> so much 
majestic. Gosh, it's it's beautiful. Okay. On the ferry again. Okay. Beach that you can't swim in because there's freaking crocodiles. Birds are those? The no, they're not. They're, not. they're really colorful. Oh, they're parrots. Are they? So loud. Cacaw. Sorry for the bad camera quality. My phone has a smudge on it, but I can't get it because my hands are wet. Bye. Making nachos. The difference between a venom and a poison, a poison, how you consume it. So like if I ate this leaf and then it killed me, that'd be poisonous. Venom has to be injected. All right. So this guy's actually biting you. All right. It's injecting you with poison. It's in the stinging nettle family. Okay. 
So yes, this is the giant singing tree, otherwise known as Gimpy Gimpy or the suicide plant, okay? Gimpy Gimpy, uh, Gimpy in the Yindaji language, one of the dialects, uh, means pain. Two of them means lots of pain, okay? In general, if there's two of the same word, you want to know what that word means. It means a lot of whatever it is, okay? It does have the nickname of suicide plant, uh, too. Apparently a guy here thought it was salmonberry over in the Pacific Northwest and used it as toilet paper. So that's oh the way my that story goes. Um, so as, as stinging nettles are, um, the plant is completely covered in these tiny little hairs, about as fine as my arm hairs, okay? Uh, they are silica tipped. Silica is glass, all right? So these are tiny hypodermic needles. What's gonna happen if I brush against this plant, they're gonna embed into my skin, the tip is gonna break off, and I'm gonna be injected with a neurotoxin, all right? Incredibly powerful neurotoxin. Uh, neurotoxins are fun because what they do is they make you feel like something's happening to your body that's not actually happening. Um, so in this case, it's gonna feel like you've lost your skin or that your skin is on fire, mm -hmm. all right? Oh Obviously, nothing's actually wrong with your skin, just those tips are in there. Something I always carry with me in Queensland is waxing strips or duct tape, okay? If you brush against this tree, you, you're like, oh, <laughs> that stinging tree. You pop it on and rip those out really fast. Before your skin has healed over, you've mm. got it out. You'll have some sensitivity for about a week. If you don't do that in time, uh, the, because the fibers are so f thin, your skin will actually heal over. And then you've got that neurotoxin in the tip stuck in your skin, mm. all right? At that point, you've got to go to the hospital. They're going to pour acid on your skin. They're going to take off that dermal layer because that is less painful than having to process this toxin on your own, which will take somewhere between three months and a year and a half, which means oh you will be in gosh. pain the entire time, okay? Uh, if they take it out, you have to heal from obviously that, which takes less time. Mm. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. Oh, Biggest tree I've ever seen. That's stunning!